Damon Motorcycles have taken the world by storm, presenting their Hypersport electric motorcycle two years ago. Since then, the company managed to find the required funding to set up a manufacturing plant and collect millions of dollars worth of pre-orders for this motorcycle. But this Canada-based company doesn't want to stop there. This year, they announced an even more powerful, limited-edition motorcycle called Hyperfighter Colossus. Just like other motorcycles by this brand, this Street Fighter model will be built on the Hyperdrive platform. The multivariant platform was specially designed to mass-produce motorcycles of different classes. This limited edition two-wheeler is to be brought into motion by means of an electric, oil-cooled motor capable of generating 150 kilowatts of power and 173 pound-feet of torque. The motor draws its energy from a lithium-ion battery pack that has an active thermal management system, thus being able to withstand great loads, especially when you're trying to hit the announced 170 mile per hour top speed mark. The battery's 20 kilowatt hour capacity will let you travel for up to 146 miles in the combined cycle. It will also support level one, level two, and DC fast charging. So with the most powerful recharging option, you can get back on the road in about 45 minutes. Other significant features that this model has include a smart co-pilot system that uses radars and cameras to provide you with useful safety warnings on the road, as well as a shift system that raises and lowers handlebars and foot pegs to achieve the most comfortable riding position. To the delight of all electric vehicle fans and those who have pre-ordered one of Tarform motorcycles, this American company has announced that the deliveries of their bikes will begin in 2022. Tarform originated in Brooklyn, New York, yet it was initially funded through the initiative of the European Union for Sustainable Mobility. Their first model named Luna had modular construction, meaning the components can be upgraded once the EV technology improves. All of the major bike components are fully recyclable or biodegradable. As standard, it comes powered by a belt-driven 55 horsepower motor and a 10 kilowatt hour pack, offering a maximum riding range of 120 miles. The bike can reach 90 miles per hour and can accelerate to 60 in 3.8 seconds. Finally, the Luna is equipped with lots of premium components like Olean suspension, proximity, and blind spot alert radars, rear view camera, and 3.4 inch HD display. It has taken this Australian startup three years to raise the required funding to develop an ambitious product roadmap and edge closer to the production of their C-Series electric motorcycles. Just like the pre-production prototype that was unveiled several years ago, the model will boast attention-grabbing cafe race styling. The C-Series bike will be offered in two power modifications, Alpha and Delta, with Alpha being the more powerful of the two. Depending on the chosen model, you will receive either a 40 or 60 kilowatt electric liquid cooled motor. The 40 kilowatt motor will generate 103 pound feet of torque and will let you sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. The torque parameter for the 60 kilowatt motor unit raises to 147 pound feet, while the acceleration time is slashed to just 3.5 seconds. Alpha's bike powertrain will feature a 16.7 kilowatt hour battery pack good for 125 miles of riding. The Delta modification has a slightly smaller 4.2 kilowatt hour pack that offers an estimated range autonomy of 93 miles. Both models also offer a fully adjustable Wilbur's fork, YSS rear shock, Brembo M4 brakes, and a large digital display for reading important technical indicators. Scarponi Motorcycles is a young EV startup from Italy that's currently looking for funding the production of their beginner-friendly motorbike. Engineers at Scarponi Motorcycles claim to have developed a unique virtual switch system or VSS. The use of VSS would enable their bike to have a system similar to a traditional gearbox that's not characteristic to electric vehicles. 
According to the manufacturer, the benefits of having a mechanical gearbox are associated with better energy management and braking capabilities. The bike's powertrain will also feature an energy regeneration system. The two-wheeler will be offered with three different design variants that, regardless of the style, will be powered by a 5-kilowatt DC brushless electric motor capable of generating up to 132 pound-feet of torque. The detailed battery specifications of this model are yet to be revealed, but its promised range estimations are set at 60 miles, with the maximum speed that will be around 65 miles per hour. EMX Pro is an all-electric motocross prototype that's currently being developed by the EMX powertrain company and the battery supplier called Elio. Their engineering efforts are being supported by Yamaha Motors and the Association for Motorcycling in the Netherlands. Their prototype is currently based on a bilateral beam aluminum frame borrowed from Yamaha YZF bikes. The chassis was fitted with an innovative powertrain capable of showing the performance similar to traditional dirt bikes while introducing the benefits of instant power delivery and hassle-free maintenance associated with electric motor powertrains. The bike's powertrain consists of a liquid-cooled electric motor with a clutch-free, single-stage, helical gear transmission and a high-density battery pack. The Elio battery supplier is currently capable of producing battery modules with capacities estimated at 260 watt-hours per kilogram of weight. The full specifications of this model are yet to be revealed, but we hope it will be able to compete with 28 kilowatts produced by a 250cc four-stroke YZF by Yamaha. BMW are no strangers to producing electric two-wheelers. Their model range can already boast a couple of battery electric scooters, and the manufacturer is planning on ramping up the EV research and development. AMBY is the company's latest concept that is intended to preview the brand's vision of a light electric bike of the future. This two-wheeler will be riding on a set of chunky tires with a 26-inch diameter in front and 24 inches in the rear. The model will have a seat height of 32.6 inches, a firmly integrated seat, and a set of foot pegs. The AMBY bike will have three power settings that will be automatically applied based on the road conditions. Top speed for bike paths is 15 miles per hour. Traveling on inner city roads will be limited to 28 miles per hour, while the out of the city mode will let you reach the 38 mile per hour speed. The power setting will be applied with the help of an AI system that will analyze the type of road conditions as well as your GPS location. The creators of the ARC Vector motorcycle have defied the odds and managed to bring the model from the dead. According to the CEO of the British brand, the company found ways to secure proper funding to begin production and deliveries of this luxury electric bike. Created as a showcase for the latest motorcycling innovations, this model boasts a futuristic Neo Cafe racer designed with a large variety of handcrafted elements. The Vector will feature a revolutionary carbon fiber Monaco frame that's encasing a 16.8 kilowatt hour battery pack. Such design positively reflected on weight and rigidity of the frame. The motorcycle is brought into motion by a 95 kilowatt electric motor, good for reaching the speeds of up to 125 miles per hour. It's also based on the 339 volt architecture, thus enabling fast charging capabilities. With the most powerful charging system, you could get back on the road in just 40 minutes and travel for 200 miles without needing to look for a plug. Arc Vector also features an innovative human-machine interface technology and a special heads-up display that provides the rider with a variety of riding data, thus increasing on-the-road safety. The history of Zero Motorcycles started with the development of electric motocross bikes 15 years ago. 
Over the years, the company has expanded the lineup and entered the street racing, supermoto, and dual sport bike classes, but didn't lose interest towards the development of trail-ready machines. As a result, Zero FX has been updated for the 2022 model year. The motorcycle is offered in two modifications, with main differences being the battery size and motor power outputs. The base model is equipped with a 3.6 kilowatt hour battery pack, an electric motor that peaks at 20 kilowatts, and the range estimations of 34 miles in the combined cycle. The more powerful modification comes with a 7.2 kilowatt hour battery. Owing to the larger unit, the bike's power output is increased to 34 kilowatts, while the estimated range parameter would be 34 kilowatts. Both models are capable of putting out 78 pound feet of torque and reaching the top speed of 85 miles per hour. When hitting the trails, any rider would benefit from 12 inches of ground clearance, knobby 19 inch tires in the front and 17 inches in the rear as well as a suspension system with adjustable preload, compression, and rebound damping. Unlike many electric scramblers that are built from the ground up, this model starts as KTM's all-electric enduro, Freeride EXC. The Australian grid cycles strips it down and adds a new chrome molly subframe with connections for a surfboard mounting rack. Next comes new bodywork that includes fresh fenders and a faux fuel tank, modeled after the one in the Yamaha XT500. The Lightning is all new as well. The Scrambler gets a 5.75 inch Flashpoint LED headlight, LED turn indicators, and a hollow tip 3-in-1 LED taillight. Grid decided not to mess with KTM's drivetrain components, so the bike is propelled by the usual 25 horsepower motor that's good for 50 miles per hour speeds. Inspired by the positive feedback associated with their first e-bike build, Grid Cycles decided to continue creating custom motorcycles based on already existing EV platforms. Their new custom is called Grid Street Tracker, and it is a Zero Motorcycles SR in disguise. The new model received a redesigned tail that emits Street Tracker vibes and has integrated LED lighting. The place where stock Zero SR had a glove box was reshaped and turned into a boxy tank with upgraded storage capabilities. The list of other modifications includes new handlebars and grips, lightweight aftermarket hubs, a chain drive conversion, as well as custom paint job with retro color accents. We would really like to hear your opinion about the lineup in the comments section. Don't forget to mention other exciting models that we may have missed. Rate the video with a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. More exciting EV content is on the screen. Just follow the links. See you soon.